Touch the northern light. We could leave the world behind. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel again. And today this is the video of auto layout part 2. In the previous video we have discussed about the auto layout and the main components of auto layout. We have only discussed about the constraints. Now in this video I'm going to discuss about the size classes and the trade collections. So let's get started with these terms. First, what are size classes? Size classes are the classes which is categorized for the multiple size screens of iPhone or the iPad. And it is defined in two terms. One is compact and the second one is regular. So compact term relates to the minimum width or the minimum height and the regular relates to the maximum width or the maximum height of particular screen size so just move to the different size classes so as you can see we have the four cases first i am considering on the right hand, right hand side top that is all iphone in portrait orientation and the class is regular compact the height is regular and the compact is width so regular compact this is the case where all the iphones in the portrait orientations are included like iphone 4 4s we have se 6 6s 7 7 plus right and the second case we have is compact compact which can be seen on the right hand side bottom right bottom so we have the height as compact and the width is also compact this is the case of landscape orientation where all the iphones are included except the plus classes like 6 plus 6s plus and 7 plus right another class we have that is on the left bottom side compact regular means the compact is the height and the width is the regular right in this size class we have only plus categories in landscape orientation like iphone 6 plus 6s plus 7 plus and the last we have regular regular means the height is regular and the width is regular and this is the case where all the iP ipads whether it is in the portrait orientation and the landscape orientations are included so these are the di different size classes now come back to trade collections right trade collections is the collection which defines vertical and horizontal size classes and the display scales so let me show you practically what are these terms so what i'm going to create is in the iPhone 7 simulator I have a button in the portrait mode and when I rotate the screen using command and right or left key the button of the color is changed and new button is also appeared so how is it possible so for this I need to create one project and choose this option create new Xcode project under iOS template choose single view application click on next and here I'm giving the name as auto layout demo part 2 just click on next and create the project so again go back to the main.storyboard file here we have the default view controller and now here i'm taking one button and fix it at the center like this and we can also set some constraints from the add new constraints button 
like um, pinning it from left to right that is zero value and height is 30 at three constraints and the vertical position at the center that's we go now I'm going to change some color for the layout like I'm changing the background color to let's say blue and and its text color is let's say white color yeah looks better so when I rotate this as you can see in the iPhone 7 we can see the width is compact and the HR means height is regular so this is the case of all the iPhones in the portrait orientation right so as we can click on this iPhone 7 plus WC HR and in iPhone SE WC HR means all the cases are in the portrait orientation right but when I rotate this means I want to change the orientation to landscape it is not changing something but it is changing the height as compact not regular so here you can understand what is the meaning of WC HC or WR HR or anything else right so these are the size classes which is categorized in the classes so come back to the portrait orientation and I'm going to show you some customization where we can change the properties for a particular button or the view or any UI element like I'm selecting this button and in the attribute inspector you can see there is a plus button mentioned over here here also here and here also means this plus button means you can change the property by using the size classes like I want to change its color when it is in the portrait orientation so how can I do that I need to click on this background property plus button and this is again the size classes means width as compact height as regular this is the default case but I am considering the case when this iPhone orientation is in the landscape mode then the color should be changed so this is the case width of any any is the case means it can be compact it can be regular so I am taking the width as any and height taking it as compact so this is the case of landscape add variation and now this is HC HC is the height compact that is the case of again landscape orientation and I am changing some color like I am changing this from blue to this color and just closing this and now I can see the difference when I click on this orientation boom the color is changed like so we can also do the same thing using this vary for traits as we have discussed about the trade collection now you can see trade collections so in the landscape orientation I want to change some traits so what are the traits I can vary its height and width height is the case for landscape and width is for like portrait and the landscape also so I'm choosing the height like this will work in all these four landscape devices like 4s se 7 and 7 plus right and now I can put the button like here and changing some color in the landscape mode like some gray color and setting the constraints from here I can width and height and horizontal position is this 
and the vertical position from this button like this right and click on this done wiring means in the landscape mode this button configuration will be appeared and in the other orientation it will not be shown like you can also see the next button is disabled in the portrait orientation and when I click on this landscape mode it will be enabled like here the constraints are also disabled and enabled when I change the orientation like so this is the disabled constraints And as you can see, I have set the constraints for this button and will be applied on the landscape also. So I can uninstall and install the constraints also, means I can change the constraints also. So how can I do that? Selecting that button, I want to change its uh, width, dynamic width. So I need to go to size inspector. Here I can see multiple constraints applied on this button so the leading space to 20 just double click on this and here the constant value is 20 that is the distance between this we need to click on this installed customization button plus button and then we need to add width as any hide as compact for landscape mode and add variation and I don't want to be installed at landscape mode so I will uncheck this means uninstalling this so let's see yeah this is not installed in this case right so the same thing we can do with the trailing just click on plus button with any and height is compact add variation and uncheck this so it will be shown like this right so I want to set its center position so how can I do that go to orientation vary for traits for height and just click on this and set its X position to center like this right and then the variation so when I click on portrait orientation it will be shown like this and when I rotate to landscape it will be shown like this so this way you can use the size classes and the trade collections to create your projects so for more details to study more about the size classes or the trade collections you can visit my blog on the same topic the link is provided in the description below of this video i hope this video is very helpful to you so don't forget to hit like button and subscribe my channel see you in the next video till then bye bye wherever i go wherever i see I'll remember you If you remember